Hello everyone, welcome to the very first video in my decorating series for Christmas 2022. I'm excited to finally get underway here. I'm going to be starting with the wall that you're looking at here today. I'm going to be moving this shelving unit, which is brand new to me. Um, I did not have this in my previous home and I purchased it for this house. It is going to be moved over to the other side of the wall there and the Christmas tree will be going here. So this video is not about the Christmas tree. It's more about this area here. I'll show you how I decorate the shelving unit and that Harlequin patterned Bombay chest that you see there. I really hope you enjoy it. The most festive and wondrous season is upon us. Welcome to my Christmas decorating series for 2022. Just before I get to the actual decorating, I wanted to share these with you. These are a recent purchase, even though I promised myself I would not buy anything new for Christmas. Well, that is completely out the window. If you've been following my community tab and following me on Instagram, you'll know that I have actually been shopping. So my husband and I discovered this great little store outside of town here. The entire store is all Christmas right now. And next March, they'll go back to all home decor but um, I'll put a picture somewhere here on the screen so you can just get an idea of what the store looks like but these were nine dollars each obviously I had to get these they're in the Harlequin pattern that I love so much and then also I have these red bows and they happen to have a little elastic uh, there and what I'm just going to do is try to place that over with the elastic and then decorate with these tin ornaments here on my shelving unit there and you can probably see someone peeking up there let's get a closer look well here we have my second most favorite piece of all my Christmas pieces this gentleman is fabulous and fantastic. A lot of you who have been following me for a while know what I feel about this piece. Now he's my second favorite because my first favorite is my angel Christmas tree topper. She has been with us, I think, since my husband and I first got married. That is 30 years ago. So she's very special. And uh, this guy has certainly become an absolute favorite of mine. I think he's approximately three feet tall, if I'm not mistaken. And then next to him is this fabulous piece. And these guys are both Amazon finds from, I believe, two years ago. So I have him on a stand just to make him the right height and then to fill up that back space there, this red sparkly tree on this candle stand, which happens to be in the Harlequin pattern that matches the rest of the pieces here. Not in black and white, but I think that it still looks great over here. I'm now going to take you through the four shelves on my shelving unit to show you how I've decorated and then I'll take you step by step on my Bombay chest to show you how I decorate that. So on the top shelf here, one of my new tin ornaments and I did go ahead and put the red bow on top of that and it worked out perfectly. And then all we have is a little Christmas pick on top of one of my Harlequin patterned boxes. That's the smaller of the boxes and I use the larger one on the bottom shelf. Just underneath that shelf on the second shelf are these great pieces. This Santa is a Santa I purchased at a thrift store last year. So I've often said on my channel that I don't thrift shop very often, but I have so many YouTube friends that just find the most amazing pieces when they go thrift shopping. So I, I tend to do it a little bit more now and I did find this guy last year and I just love him. He's adorable and perfect for my theme here. And here's a little box, uh, rather a gift box, a present, also in keeping with our look here, a little ornament that I DIY'd last year. 
And then when we go down to the third shelf, another one of those tin ornaments, the second one that I purchased, just on a little stand. This little guy right here, he was purchased via Amazon a couple of years ago as well. Very Mackenzie Childs inspired. And then a little smaller nutcracker just there. You can see he's got the Harlequin pattern on his arms. And then a simple red nutcracker here nice and sparkly with another pick and then on the bottom shelf here another one of those uh, nutcrackers that i purchased on amazon please excuse the outlet to the left there and he is placed atop the larger box that i have here and uh, with a little votive holder there and a little uh, candle ring. I placed him in a Christmas candle ring so that that dresses him up a little bit more. And then another little Harlequin patterned gift box. And so, so far, this is what our wall is looking like. Let me now take you step by step to the Bombay chest and show you how I decorate that. I was thinking of using a buffalo check patterned runner for this display i changed my mind and i thought it might look more elegant to just go ahead and use this snow fabric that i purchased at dollarama last year i cut a piece that i thought might be the right size and so i'm just placing it and making it look kind of scrunchy and messy and possibly like a big snow drift so here, this is why I was thinking buffalo pattern, but I changed my mind. We have that harlequin pattern at the bottom there, keeping with our theme on this wall. And here in Canada, we use Christmas crackers. So I have some there in the buffalo check pattern that I'm just going to place at the base. And then this little ornament that I had used on another project. I've taken that project apart and I'm using this here at the bottom of our little display. And to tie in that buffalo pattern, I have this little plate holder there, and I'm going to put this buffalo plaid charger right in the middle of our little display there. And now on the other side, I have the matching piece to the other nutcracker. He's wearing buffalo plaid in his pants, not his hat, but he does have that harlequin pattern at the base there. And then off to the side, I'm just going to place this beautiful nutcracker I love so much by Jim Shore. So here's our final reveal of the display on our Bombay chest. I have some great nutcrackers in place. I hope you can see the sparkle that's in this fabric that makes it look really pretty and snowy. And I think that this blends in really beautifully here with the rest of the wall that you can see here. And I did not decorate the very top of this cabinet. However, I will be doing something up there. Once I have my Christmas tree in place in the corner there, I think it will be important to bring up the height on this piece here so that it balances out with the tree. The tree is quite uh, high, quite tall, so I will need to do that. So please stay tuned to see what I do with that up there and so thank you so much for visiting me today i'm really excited for this holiday season decorating my new home is going to be really really fun it certainly has been so far i hope that you'll join me